Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown continues. Vikings and the Packers Saturday night. Minnesota minus nine on the road at Green Bay at Lambeau. Total 40 and a half. And look, Minnesota's 11 and three. I've got them power ranked number two in the NFL, only New England higher. They're one game behind Philly. They're one game ahead of the other contenders for home field edge in a first round bye in the postseason. So they need a win here to guarantee a first round bye. They could still get the overall home field, but they did clinch the division last week. You worry about that being something of a distraction for a team that hasn't been in this situation very often in recent seasons. Green Bay 7-7 seven and seven with Atlanta's win on Monday night. The Packers have clinched to be out of the playoffs. First meeting between these two teams, Vikings were three-point underdogs at uh, home. They won the game 23-10. to 10. And, of course, the price showed how much of an impact Aaron Rodgers was in that ball game. You know, again, they're plus three at home in that contest, Minnesota. Now they're minus nine on the road. Rodgers got injured very early in that ball game. Brett Hundley came in, and he was a deer in the headlights. <laughs> three interceptions, four sacks. That Vikings defense, look at them here, man. They've been making big plays all year. The Vikings defense is why they are at the top or near the top of the NFC standings. The offense has been good. The defense has been dynamic and difference-making. But you wonder if there's a letdown here. They're not going to get to face Aaron Rodgers this time around. And we talk about Brett Hundley. This is the guy, look, the first couple of starts weren't very pretty. He settled in. The last three games, look at the graphic. You know, not ridiculous numbers. He's only thrown for 594 yards in the three games. Six touchdowns, only one interception, a passer rating of 102. Hundley's been pretty good. And just to recognize where that passer rating of 102, what it means, that would rate number five in the NFL for the full season. That's a tick ahead of Carson Wentz at 101.9. So, again, passer rating's not everything. But Brent Hundley has been certainly significantly better in the last couple of weeks than he was certainly that first Monday night football game uh, against the Lions when he couldn't get anything done. So the question is, you know, has he proven that he's capable? Or is it kind of a fluky run against teams that don't take him seriously? Are the Vikings going to take him seriously? One thing we have to worry about for Green Bay here, and certainly we saw it last week, the offense wasn't balanced. Why did they lose to Carolina? Only 13 handoffs to the running backs. Was that a choice for Green Bay not to run? Not from the quotes. It looks like Carolina wanted Aaron Rodgers to pass, which is interesting. Offensive line Lane Taylor, quote, they gave us some fronts that are hard to run against. Teams just want to make you one-dimensional now. I can understand that. Normally, teams don't want to make Green Bay a one-dimensional passing team. They would rather have them a one-dimensional running team. That's not what Carolina tried to do last week. Minnesota's defense is really good. They make Green Bay one-dimensional. This one could end up being a one-sided game, but uh, I'm not in love with the prospect of laying minus nine with the Vikings in a game that they may not be quite as up for as other people think they will be. More big game breakdowns coming up next. It's bowl season right here on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.